He wanted to get out and explore. That's why this week's hometown hero joined the Navy. Dave Grossman looks back at his time in Vietnam with a fondness. Today we remember Dave's time in the Navy and a friend whose memory he strives to keep alive today. I uh, didn't want to really go to Vietnam, so I thought, well, Dave, enlist in the Navy. The closest you get is five miles offshore. It didn't turn out exactly how Medina's Dave Grossman had hoped for when he enlisted in the Navy in 1966. You know, and I kind of wanted to see the, see the world, which I did get to see on the ship. I mean, we got more than halfway around the world. Grossman spent two years as an engineman aboard the USS John R. Perry, a destroyer escort ship, to start off his career with the Navy. And he did see the world, sailing to places like Japan, Singapore, and the Philippines. It wasn't until 1969 that the orders came. Grossman would head to Vietnam, sailing along the Cambodian border aboard river patrol boats, also known as PBRs. But Grossman says he was one of the lucky ones. It was only, you know, like I made 279 patrols and I was under fire maybe only four times. Unlike, you know, Army or Marines, it could have been every day for them. So, you know, I, I always thought I had it pretty good, according to what some other people went through. Grossman did have some close calls. He earned a Bronze Star while protecting a PBR from enemy fire. But when he thinks of what he went through compared to others, one name often comes into his mind, his best friend, Tom Armitage. Tom kind of knew that for whatever reason that he wasn't coming home again, and, and that's what happened to him. He often reads from a letter that Armitage sent to Grossman's parents. P.S. Thanks again for the letters and packages. See you soon. And he was killed February 12th of 1969. This is a memorial honoring Tom in Grossman's hometown of Medina. It's part of why Grossman joined Vietnam Veterans of America to help remember those veterans like Tom who sacrificed for our country. It's just a feeling that it's something you should do, you know, because, you know, it, military is, uh, is a different breed once you're, you know, if you do something with your fellow veterans, you're, you know, you feel good about it. I'd do it all over again in a minute, in a heartbeat. Do it all over. And it was 52 years ago today that Tom Armitage lost his life in Vietnam. We thank both Tom and Dave for their service. And don't forget, if you know someone you'd like to nominate for our Hometown Heroes segment, just send an email to WFRV Hometown Heroes at wearegreenbay.com.